What's up guys, JP here with fellow Mason Dixon Digger, Ryan, and uh, he's Thanks. got a new permission that uh, we just got out here. And we're out here and where is this? Uh, we're Cold outside Harbor? Richmond, Virginia, near the Battle of Cold Harbor. And uh, hopefully we can get some relics out of this field. I've never uh, hunted it, but uh, let's yeah, we'll see so if we can do it. Yeah, cross yeah. our fingers. I'm yeah. hoping to get, I want a uh, Confederate button of any type. I, I just want any type of button. Hopefully I can get something out of here. Yeah, so, so we'll see what we can find. All right, guys. Check this out, Ryan just called me over. We haven't even been here, what, five minutes? Not even, my first signal of the day. I just turned my machine on. Look what I got in the hole. Well, out of the hole. Right here. An eagle. Is it? Oh my gosh, it's an eagle D button. It's a dragoon button. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Let me see, bring it into the camera. Eagle D. Shut <laughs> Oh my God. No, hold on. Oh my God, dude, five minutes. We've five been minutes, five an eagle minutes. dragoon button. What? Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome, guys, stick with us, man. Five minutes. All right, we're on a good spot. This is great. There's a buck chasing a doe right there. There he goes, he's getting them. The buck's going after the doe. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. The things you see while you're relic hunting. I love nature, isn't it beautiful? All right, we've got JP swinging over there, trying to find something. Uh, it's been slim pickings in this field after I found that dragoon button, that bullet. So, uh, hopefully we can get on something again. Stay tuned. All right, I think I've got a bullet signal in the hole. Let's hope it is. I've been uh, digging out here for a while and uh, JP's down there. And uh, let's see what we got together. It is a, it is an infield, an infield, a dropped infield bullet. All right, dropped Confederate infield. All right, awesome. Okay, they were here. All right, I think I got a bullet in the hole. Well, actually out of the hole. As you can see, it's coming up as like a 67, 70, 68 on the AT Max. That's a bullet signal all day long. So let's get it together. Don't know what it is actually, so here we go. Oh, it's a bullet. You can see it right there. See it? Do you yeah. see it? Do you? Nice. See what it is? See what kind? It's, nice. a, it's a three ringer. Three -ringer. It's nice. A, oh, it's a. Um... No, it's a regular three ringer. Not Let me really see. Hold on a sec. Nice. All right. Awesome. Good, Good job. job. Hey, Ryan's killing me. I've only found one three ringer and some bucket balls, but he's actually found a, a bunch of uh, bullets. So I'm on a good signal here. Hopefully, I can catch up to Ryan what we can come up with now this soil is really sandy i'm not used to this virginia soil i think it's great it's easy digging but it seems as if most of these targets are pretty deep this target is actually coming up as an 82 now so this might not be a bullet it might be something totally different and like I said, these targets are really deep. I'm just not used to going this deep from where I'm used to digging in Maryland. But keep digging this up. Still super deep, deep guys. So I'm gonna cut this video off and then uh, dig this out some more. Hopefully it's something worthwhile and I'll let you know. You can see it right there. Three ringer. And it looks to be dropped. Drop three ringer. Deep. And uh, like I said, I'm not used to digging this deep in this Virginia soil, but uh, it's pretty cool, pretty cool. All right, stick with me. Hopefully I can catch up to Ryan. He's uh, over in another field finding some more bullets. All right, I just found a bullet. Uh, what, five yards to my right. And now this is coming up. It's not a great signal, but it's coming up as a 62. Definitely worth digging, but it's not. Um, I just don't think it's coming up as my bullet signals usually do, which is about 68 to 
74, 78, but let's see. Now it's coming up as a 79. That's a good sign. Let's see. Let's see how much farther down it is. That's way down there, guys. I'm gonna have to dig this out and see what uh see what it is. All right, guys, check it out. Sorry it took so long. Look how deep this hole is, but I don't know if you can see it. It was in the sidewall. I don't know what type of coin it is. I have no idea. Oops. It looks get in the camera there I might be wrong but I think that's an Indian head yeah I think I just see the top top of the Indian head right there so Indian head I'll uh, see about getting a date off of this but Indian head penny awesome I'll take it all right guys I cleaned it off a little bit I don't know if you could see it on the angle but 18 it looks to be 1863 might be 53, but it looks to be an 1863 Indian head. And this is uh, all within the area of where we've been finding these boards. So this is awesome find for me. All right, I'm on a great signal right here. It's coming up as a 72. So I'm thinking this is gonna be something uh, worthwhile. Hopefully it's gonna be a Confederate infield or an infield. I guess the Union also used infield bullets as well, but mainly Confederates. Nice. Like I said, most all these targets are super deep. Out of the hole. Let me bring the camera and we'll do this together. We'll do this together. Make sure it's working. I don't see it. There it is, guys. Look at that. It's fire two, fire three ringer. Fire three ringer. In America, actually, it's been, uh, Cork screwed right, out. Guys, check it out. We got a good signal right here and right there. So we're gonna do a dig together and see what we come up with and see who's gonna have the better bullet or the better, better relic, relic or whatever. Let's see, whatever let's see what it we is. Got. We're thinking of their bullets, but we're gonna see. All right, guys, let's see what we got. You going? Here we go. Mine's still in the hole. It sounds really good though. I gotta get my detector. Hold on a second. <laughs> you might need your detector. <laughs> <laughs> I set it down and walked away from it. Mine sounds really good. How's that sound? It sounds good, sounds good. <laughs> Holy crud, mine's a plate. It's a plate. It's a plate. It's a plate. I just did it. <laughs> <laughs> I had to. It's gonna give me a heart attack. <laughs> Yeah. 
that. That's uh, that's, that's a Civil War champion. Yeah, uh, what they call the champion to the shoulder. Piece. Yeah, yep, shoulder, shoulder piece. To a shoulder scale. Check it out. To the shoulder scale. All right. All that's right, awesome. getting it done. All right. Ryan digging up a target over there. And, uh, well, I'm back here and I got a signal right here. We're coming up as a 72, 74, so we'll see what it is. And like I said, most of these signals here have been super deep on me. Oh, it's out of the hole. What do we got? Oh, do you see it? I'm coming around, guys. Still in the plug. Look at that. Beautiful. I love it. We're going to take it out together, guys. You ready? Here we go. Perfect. Perfect. Love it. Three ringer, take it all day long. It's actually, I was looking for it, but I can see it. So it's in the side, it's in the, one of these little point out, where are we here. at? Where are we at? See it right there. See it right there? Let's knock it nice. out. Nice, awesome. That looks fired maybe. Yeah, it's fired. Oh, it's uh, been wormed right there. See the top of it? Well, that, you know yeah. what? I just found one, what? Not too yeah. far from right here that was wormed awesome. just like it. Get it done. Make some dicks and diggers. All right, check it out. Look what I just dug, and I'm cleaning it up, guys. Got it out of this hole. It looks like. What do we got? What do we got? Eagle looks coat like an button. eagle coat button. I believe. I'm gonna have to clean it up a whole lot more, the, but check, let's check out the back. Look how beautiful the back is. It's all there. Yeah, that's nice. Oh my gosh, great find, JP. Oh, great awesome. find. Awesome. Yeah. Yep. All right. I think uh, JP's got something in the hole. He thinks it's good. Check this out, guys, and I just pulled this out. I don't know what this is, but it's See, it's got, 10 on it. It's got 10 on it, it looks like. Really soft, it's super thin. I don't. It's got stars on it, on the top. And maybe the viewers can help me out with this, because I have yeah. no idea what this is. It's got garland, or what's that say? Gar garland yeah. with a star on it. Just definitely silver piece. Let's see, we're gonna get a there we go. Got it. It's a garland on that side with the star. And then it's just 10. It's 10 with stars on this side. I have no idea what this is, guys. So any of the viewers out there that are watching this, if you could tell me and leave some feedback on Mason Dixon Diggers, I would appreciate that. Yep. So, nice find. Awesome. Nice. I've got a button in the hole. This is my second button out of this field, and uh, it's laying down, so I don't know what it is. So we're gonna find out what it is together. And I found a button too, so we're so doing here well. We go. So let's get Hold it together. Let me get close, and we're gonna flip yeah. it together. Go ahead. There we go. Drum roll. Oh no! It is a eagle eye, eagle, eagle eye. eye infantry button. Nice. See the eye in the middle of the shield. I see it. I'm on it. That's awesome. Awesome. It's fine, yes. Ryan. Yes. We're gonna dig this up together. I got a 72. Hopefully we can get something out of here. It's out of the hole. It's over there. I see it. I'ma zoom in. I flipped it and it popped right out. Look at that guys. Sitting right on top. All right, this was an awesome, awesome permission that Ryan got. So check it out. So we did really well. Uh, we were only out here for like a couple hours. Yeah. And uh, so we're gonna come down here, I'm gonna show you. I know you guys have already seen uh, the video so far, but I got this uh, Eagle coat button, these bullets here. Uh, I think this one's gonna be infield, but uh, bucking ball and some Indian head, Indian head pennies all right here. And, uh, top to a shoulder scale so really excited about that so that was awesome but let, let me tell you the find of the day was ryan so check this out so i've got a uh eagle cuff button with a d in it which stands for a, it's a dragoon uh cuff button let's see if we can get in there and zoom it in there uh, uh, 
Maybe you can see it. And then I've also got an eagle eye coat button. Which is awesome, awesome so. find. So check this other stuff out though. This is a really cool find, man. I like this. This is, uh, look at that key, guys. I mean, that is really cool. Super old key. And uh, we're gonna have to uh, let the viewers see this. You guys tell us what you think this is. I'm gonna try to bring it in close so you can see it. It actually has the crown on it from England. Uh, it says WR patent on it. So let's check that out. He also found a piece for uh, the shoulder scale and uh, a bunch of bullets. So we uh, did really good on this spot. So we're gonna go and uh, check out the next spot, right? Yep. See what we can find, uh, find there. So this is awesome. Finding it today. All right, what's up guys? Look, I totally forgot on the last permission where we just left about that silver coin. Um, and it's got a 10 on it with some stars. If you guys have any idea on what this is, please let me know. I'm gonna post videos at the end. But we're at the next permission and supposedly this is Ryan's bullet spot, right? Yeah, so a lot of fire bullets in this field. So uh, I think we're gonna do well in here. So. What, and what did you say? We're gonna to try to see who goes one for one and see who yeah, well, uh, see who gets more bullets? Well, we, there are a lot of shell frags too. So maybe we can get an artillery shell. That'd be even better. So Yeah, but I, I will uh, say, what do you, what type of coil are you using right I, now? I'm using a big one. Let me, let me show it we to Go you, get buddy. this coil. Look, if he beats me on getting more bullets, let me tell you why. I got the, <laughs> look at the size of this thing. I mean, that's ridiculous. And I'm using the AT Max. I'm using the Nell Big Coil with the AT Max. So this yeah. thing is the deepest coil you're going to get. And I got the stock machine. coil. So on the AT Pro. Um, so. On AT Pro. So if I beat him, well, we'll just leave it at that. <laughs> so let's see what happens. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Stick with us. <laughs> yeah. All right. Look, we're one for one. We just got started and only five minutes in. I got a boy and he has one. I think he was uh, telling the truth about this spot. Definitely a lot of bullets in here. I think last time he was here, uh, only for an hour, and he got like 25 bullets. So we'll see what he can come up with today. Maybe he cleaned it up last time, but we'll see. All right, I don't know how Ryan's doing. Um, <laughs> I keep seeing him digging, so, but check this out. I just pulled this up, guys. I don't know if you can see it right there, a buckle. It was uh, pretty deep down, but a buckle. And uh, that's nice. I'll take it. Battle Cold Harbor, a buckle. All right, Ryan and I have been going one for one. I don't know what he's got, but he's been constantly digging and he's up ahead of me. And I think he's got another bullet signal too. But we're gonna see what we have here. Let's see if it's another bullet. Say it's out of the hole. Come on, where are you at? There it is, guys. Look at that. Three ringer. And Ryan is standing up there waiting. <laughs> I don't even know how many you have, but. There it is. Three ringer. Look at that. Another three ringer. I, I, don't, I don't even want to ask how many you have. We're going to wait until we get to the end and we're going to see who's got more. <laughs> Stick with us, guys. Wait until the end. All right. You never know what you're going to find when you're metal checked and check it out. It's nothing big, nothing really important, but check this out. Glasses. That farmer must be really upset about losing his glasses. That's for sure. So check this out. Ryan, I have no idea where he's at. And uh, we got a little competition going on how many bullets or who's going to find more relics especially with the bullets because he said there's a lot of bullets on this uh property and he's right because we've only been here about a half hour and i've got i think 12 bullets so far maybe even a little bit more and a harmonica reed and a buckle so we'll see who's gonna win hopefully uh like i said i have no idea where he went but hopefully i can talk him into a six pack of ipa when i win <laughs> Stay with us. Hey, Ryan. Yeah. You want to tell me how many bullets you have? I got about 30. <laughs> oh, you okay? I had, my, my pockets got so heavy, I had to unload them in the truck. Ah. Oh. All right, we'll wait. We'll, we'll see at the end. 
All right, I got a good signal here and I'm gonna live dig this one. And we've been digging a lot of boards. So I haven't been doing videos on all the digs, but I wanted to do this live dig just to show you guys how deep I am digging down for these boards. And uh, to give you an idea, now, sorry about the camera moving, but basically doing this with one hand. Now that might be out, but we'll see. All right, I did get it out, which shocks me because they typically have been deeper than that. But I'm thinking it's a bullet because it was coming up as a bullet signal. And sure enough, it is. Check it out, guys. Three ringer. All right, I pulled the plug already, but check it out. I'm excited about this one. You can see it down in there. It is a fired infield, confederate infield. Fired confederate infield, excited about that one, definitely. And I think it might still have the plug in. <laughs> a nice, all right. I don't know how many bullets Ryan has, but I'm, I'm doing pretty good. So stick with us until the end, See uh, see how many we've got. All right, hopefully we find uh, some other cool relics. All right, guys, sun has gone down and uh, Ryan didn't lie about this field. This is definitely, I'm gonna call this the bullet field. It's called the fired bullet field for a reason. <laughs> we got over 50 fired bullets in this field in about three hours. Yeah, not even that, so, it's like two and a yeah, half and hours. There are or a ton of bullets in here. They were doing some shooting in this direction. Yeah, so uh, check this out. Uh, so we're gonna come down here. Oh, and uh, just in case anybody's wondering, Ryan won. How many did you get, Ryan? 33. Ryan got 33 bullets. Um, um, I think he's got uh, some flat cool button. ones in there, flat button. Yeah. And then uh, I don't know if you guys can see it right here with mine. I got 22 bullets. Um, I got a really cool infield with the plug-in. And uh, with um, this one here is a Williams cleaner. And But, I mean, if you're counting the round balls and the... Uh, um, <laughs> We'll call yeah, it tie. Yeah, if you're counting the round balls, I got like 10 round balls here, but he, he don't want to count those. Round balls are a little bucking shot. <laughs> I take bucking shot, bucking <laughs> shot. All right, so guys, do me a favor. Um, check us out on Facebook. Like us on Facebook. And then also subscribe to us, Mason Dixon Diggers. I'm JP, Ryan. Until next time, 